So Paris has her Neptune in the first house, conjunct her rising. And Neptune is the planet of mystery, secrets, illusions, acting. And a conjunction between the rising and Neptune could indicate Paris playing a role in front of the public, which she did. In case you didn't know, Paris was in a TV show called The Simple Life alongside Nicole Richie. And in that TV show, she had to act like a ditzy blonde. And although this show propelled her into fame, the world just couldn't separate Paris, the TV character, from Paris, the, the person. And interest, interestingly, Neptune also represents confinement and imprisonment. And unfortunately, Paris spent most of her glory days stuck into that dumb blonde box that she created for television. That Neptune ascended conjunction can also point to Paris's mysterious nature and her keeping secrets from people. In fact, in her book, Confessions of a Nearest, Paris even states that keeping secrets has been one of her greatest assets as an heiress. Neptune also symbolizes glamour, fantasy, dreams, aspirations, and Paris always had this goddess-like energy in her personality, and she does live a glamorous lifestyle. Like, just go look at her Instagram, go Google Paris Hilton House, and you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> Paris is a Sagittarius Ascendant, so that means that she is very likely to have Sagittarian traits, which she has. I mean, she's very tall, she's very skinny, and she's very graceful, just like a horse. <laughs> and speaking of horses, in a Simple Life episode, she actually fell off a horse and got kicked in the chest by that horse, and she had to go to the hospital. But a lot of people thought it was fake when it was 100% real, and this just reinforces that Neptune ascendant conjunction and the world being confused about what's real and what's not when it comes to Paris. Since Paris is a Sagittarius Ascendant, her life themes will include growth, abundance, expansion, fun, travel, living life to the fullest, which makes sense because Paris is known for being a jet setter, a frequent traveler, and her chart ruler, Jupiter, is in the sign of Libra, in the 10th house, conjunct her Saturn and her Midheaven. So... Paris was pretty much meant to be in the spotlight. Her status, her reputation, her brand, her career, her wealth, and her success will be one of the main focuses in her life. Also, her Jupiter is forming an exact conjunction with her Saturn at the ninth degree of Libra. And her Saturn is actually very strong, being not only exalted in Libra, but also located in the 10th house. So combine that with the planet of luck, growth, and expansion, Jupiter, and you get great career blessings, great financial blessings, and great reputation blessings. Paris Hilton has her sun, her Mercury, and her Venus in the sign of Aquarius. So she has an Aquarius stellium, and it makes so much sense because Paris comes off as very aloof and robotic and emotionally detached. And this could also explain why she was so misunderstood by society, as Aquarius is the sign of unconventional and unorthodox things. Aquarius is also the sign of innovation and trendsetting, and Paris has been credited for inventing the getting paid to party movement. She is the original celebrity that was famous for being famous back in the early, early 2000s, and she paved the way for the influencers of today. And all of this is reinforced by her Uranus, which is in her 12th house of celebrities and fame at the 29th degree, the critical degree, which means that her disruption had, was critical to the evolution of celebrity culture. And her 
Uranus is also in the sign of Scorpio, and Uranus and Scorpio is exalted and therefore functioning functioning very well. And this just highlights how transformative Paris Hilton's impact was on celebrity culture. Paris Hilton's Aquarius Stellium is in her second house of money, luxury, and material possessions, so she attaches a lot of value to money in general, as well as finding new ways to accumulate wealth. She has to achieve financial freedom in order to feel financially secure, and also her Uranus is forming a square to her Sun and Mercury, which could definitely make her a reckless rebel when she acts, speaks, or spends her money, especially in her early life. Aquarius also represents sudden and erratic change, and Paris is known for venturing in many different areas of business throughout her career. She has been a model, an actress, a singer, a DJ, an activist. She has 25 fragrances. She has a shoe line, a handbag line, a sunglasses line, she has hair extensions, and so much more. Paris's 10th and 2nd houses are therefore her main life focuses. In fact, the ruler of her 10th house, Venus, is in her 2nd house, while the ruler of her 2nd house, Saturn, is in the 10th house. There is this mutual re reception between her Venus and her Saturn, in her second house and her tenth house, and mutual receptions are almost like conjunctions, and this reflects her ability to capitalize off her fame, to be wealthy, and then using that capital to start new businesses and reinforce her reputation and her brand. It's almost like a vicious circle, except that it's not vicious, it's lucrative. Paris's moon is in the sign of Leo in her 8th house. The moon can give you an idea of somebody's past, childhood, and family. And having the moon in the 8th house could indicate inheriting money from family very early in life, which Paris did. Leo is also the sign of royalty and opulence, so Paris's Leo moon could reflect her famous and wealthy family and her and her, you know, wealthy upbringing. In fact, Paris's mom, Kathy, is an actress and a socialite, while her dad, Richard, was a real, is a real estate broker. And her grandfather is Conrad Hilton, and he is the creator of the Hilton Hotel's empire. So Paris grew up surrounded by celebrities and luxury, which really shaped her her identity as, you know, a queen. <laughs> and speaking of that, the moon also indicates your needs, your cravings, your inner feelings. And with the moon in Leo, Paris can be an intention seeker with quite an ego. And she unconsciously thinks that everybody is watching her constantly. She loves the spotlight. She loves to put on a show for people. And, you know, interestingly, Leo is the sign of theater and performance and drama. So this confirms Paris playing a role in front of the public, you know, with the baby voice and the mannerisms and all that. And this is all an act, but people just don't get it and they just eat everything all up. Paris once walked out of an interview in 2011, I think, where the dude asked her if she was worried about her glory days being over. And this was one of the rare times that we saw Paris with all that aloof Aquarian facade. And I think she took that question the wrong way because with that Leo moon, she thinks she's the queen. She thinks she runs the world. She thinks she's always relevant. So, and also the moon is also someone's immediate instinctual reaction to things. And Paris reacted to this question in a very Leo way. Like, what? How dare you call me irrelevant? I'm done. <laughs> and Paris also 
keeps talking about, you know, having her own empire, building her own empire. And this is very Leo Moon. <laughs> Paris's Mars is in the sign of Pisces and it's forming a conjunction with her sun and her Mercury. And Mars is in your drive, your fighting nature and how your energy comes out. And having Mars in Pisces can make someone very passive and not very confrontational and paris even admitted in one of her recent youtube videos that she hates having to fire people so she always delegates the hard tasks to someone else and that's very mars and pisces her pisces mars is located in her third house which is the house of media and gossip and rumors and Mars is also the planet of conflict and war, and this placement could illustrate Paris's year, decade long conflict with the media. Because, as you may or may not know, the media kept their foot on Paris's neck, they kept spreading rumors about her, real rumors, fake rumors. Every move Paris made, every step Paris took was recorded by tabloids and magazines. And unfortunately, with that Pisces influence, Paris was never really fighting back against those rumors and those, those you know, fake magazine rumors and gossip because not only because she's a Pisces Mars but also because her parents told her to stay quiet and only focus on the opinions of the people she was close to. Paris has three planets in the sign of Libra, Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto. So she has a Libra stellium, so that makes Paris very refined, she has matters, she's diplomatic, and she's very concerned about her appearance, her beauty, looking good, doing, doing the right thing, especially when it comes to her public life, since that Libra stellium is located in her 10th house of reputation and society. So Paris wants to make it very clear that she's prime and proper. In fact, Paris never refuses to take a photo with a fan no matter what, which isn't very common among celebrities. Her Libra stellium can also deal with Paris being an activist, as Libra represents peace and equality. And we all know how invested Paris is in, you know, animal rights and children in hospitals. So that Libra stellium and Paris being an activist makes so much sense. And by the way, having Pluto and Jupiter in the 10th house is great for fame and wealth since Jupiter is all about abundance and expansion, while Pluto is all about intensifying and obsessing. So she definitely was destined for success but it's not always a good thing since Pluto is also the planet of crisis and destruction and negativity. So having it in the 10th house can also lead to having your reputation destroyed or dealing with the ugly aspects of wealth and fame. And Paris definitely had to deal with her fair share of crap when it comes to celebrity life, such as, you know, the paparazzi constantly, you know, harassing her. And also one of her exes released a sex tape featuring her back in 2004. And she's also been imprisoned for, I think, driving drunk. And combined with Saturn, who's, you know, related to hardships and struggles, Paris definitely went through it. But thankfully, she was able to tr transform her negative events into something positive 
and capitalize on it and have long lasting businesses because she went through all of these hardships and it helped her become stronger and wiser. And also having Saturn and Pluto in Libra, especially Saturn retrograde and Pluto retrograde in Libra, can explain why she had so much, so many legal issues since Libra also deals with, you know, justice and lawyers and law and having such malefic planets in Libra can definitely deal with going to jail. <laughs> As I mentioned previously, Paris has her Venus and her Saturn in a mutual reception and that mutual reception functions almost like a conjunction. And having Venus and Saturn conjunct can have its positive perks on somebody, such as wealth and fame. But it can also have negative impacts on somebody. And in Paris's case, it can lead to a lack of self-love, of self-worth. And when you don't love yourself, it's very hard for, for you to have a great love life. So with that aspect, it can make breakups very frequent in somebody's life. And if you Google Paris Hilton's love life, you can see that she has a whole bunch of axes. <laughs> Venus and Saturn conjunction can also have a karmic element to it. So maybe People in a past life felt betrayed by Paris, and in this lifetime, these people are going to try to harm Paris in order to, you know, get the revenge. And maybe this could explain why Paris's ex released that sex tape of Paris in 2004. Maybe Paris did something to him in a past life, and he just had to do something to get back at her and i did some digging and i found out that the sex tape was released in the 9th of june 2004 and that day venus was retrograde in gemini in paris hilton's seventh house so that really makes a lot of sense. Paris also has her Venus opposing her moon, and this could translate into a struggle to balance your own personal needs with the needs of others. And this could lead to relationships where Paris is, is not giving enough while her partner is giving too much or where Paris is giving too much, but her partner isn't giving enough. So this could deal with a lack of compromise in relationships or relationships that aren't really fulfilling enough or a, a lack of, you know, balance of power in relationships. And I keep going back to Paris Hilton. She had this show where she was looking for her new BFF. And, you know, in retrospective, that show really was a search for who can be Paris's next, you know, lap dog. Like, there was, like, this wasn't really a competition to become Paris's friend. It was more about finding someone who can fit in. Paris's world and adhere to Paris's rules. So this, this can, this is very moon opposing Venus. And Paris also has her Venus conjunct her south node in Aquarius. And this reinforces everything I said regarding her Venus and Saturn mutual reception. So this could explain why Paris is constantly dealing with those karmic 
related relationship issues. It could explain why Paris is constantly attracted to the same type of people and repeating the same type of mistakes in when it comes to relationships. And that Venus South Node conjunction in Aquarius could also explain why her relationships don't work out and it might be because you know Aquarius is the sign of friendship and detachment so maybe Paris Paris's relationships are very you know platonic and friendly and there's a there's a true lack of passion and romance and this could explain why Paris struggles to find a long-lasting relationship. Paris also has, like I said previously, her Uranus in the 12th house. And this could, because Uranus also represents your friends and groups and masses and organizations. And having it in the 12th house, which is the house of, you know, your self undoing, this could mean that Paris, Paris's friends may play a role in her undoing. So Paris might have to watch out for, you know, backstabbers and, you know, fake people, especially since her Uranus is in the sign of Scorpio and Scorpio is a very, you know, vengeful, petty and deceitful, you know, sign. A sign that doesn't care about, you know, doing what's right. A sign that doesn't have any morals. So Paris really needs to watch out for, you know, these type of people. And also the 12th house represents, you know, hidden enemies. And having Uranus there means that Paris's hidden enemies are her friends. So Paris has or had maybe in the past, maybe she doesn't have to deal with this anymore, but Paris has had to deal with a lot of fake people throughout her life. And this, this was hard. This was really hard for her. And Paris has, like I said previously, her Saturn retrograde in Libra. And Saturn is the planet of delays and hardships and struggles. And Libra is the sign of relationships and marriage. So this placement can all can definitely bring delays surrounding relationships and marriage. And it's conjunct her midheaven. So it'll be public knowledge. Like she will go through her breakups and her her flings in the spotlight. And that retrograde element could also symbolize getting engaged and then calling off the engagement. Or it could also deal with repeating the same mistakes in love. And it could also symbolizes Paris struggling to find a balanced relationship, a relationship where she can give love and receive the same amount of love and return without getting screwed over by her partner. And Paris's moon and Venus are both not only opposing each other, but they're both forming a, a square with her Chiron in the sign of Taurus. And Chiron represents what you struggle with, and having it in the sign of Taurus could mean it could confirm that Paris is indeed struggling with self esteem and self worth. And it's happening in her fifth house, the house of romance and relationships. So Paris, and also Taurus is a sign of materialism and, you know, spending money and shopping so paris's self-esteem problems could result in her you know surrounding herself in opulence and beautiful things because she doesn't love herself enough 
and also the sign the fifth house is also the house of fame and sh entertainment and show business and having her Chiron and Taurus in, in that house can could also indicate that Paris Paris's self esteem issues stem from the fact that the entertainment industry doesn't respect her as a celebrity. They don't respect her hustle. They are confused about why Paris is a celebrity. And this ties it back to this Neptune in Paris's first house conjunct her ascended. Like every, everything is tied together that people don't understand why Paris is so famous. They, they keep overrating her and it kind of takes a toll on Paris's self-esteem and self-worth. And she tries to fill this void by getting into a bunch of relationships and spending money on beautiful things and you know, lux luxury, but she needs to, she needs to learn how to love herself and respect herself and take care of herself. That is the true key. And once she learns how to do that, then she will have better luck in her love life. Also, Taurus is a sign of stability and things that are solid and long lasting. And having Karen in Taurus in the fifth house can deal with Paris struggling to stay in a long lasting relationship. And when you look at her love history, most of Paris's relationships don't last longer than a year. And Paris's North Node is interestingly in the sign of Leo. So Paris in this lifetime, she has to learn how to find pride in being herself. Paris needs to learn how to be Paris and do Paris and tell people, this is me, I'm Paris Hilton and I'm, Par and I'm famous because I am Paris Hilton and that is enough. And Paris's South Node in Aquarius could represent Paris starting out, you know, as part of a group. And she did. I mean, she started out as a member of the prestigious Hilton family. And she also started out as Nicole Richie's sidekick. And I feel like she did a great job leaving that South Node and going towards that Leo North Node by breaking out of her family and breaking out of her friendship with Nicole Rich Richie and establishing herself as an individual. North Node Leo can also require someone to have to build their own empire and create and create and put their name on their creations and Paris did just that. I mean, like I said previously, she built her own empire. She built so many businesses, so many successful businesses. She trademarked her signature phrases like nobody can say, can use that's hot except Paris. Having a Leo North node can also deal with your destiny lying in entertainment and parties and celebrations and Paris recently I mean not recently a few years ago she became a DJ and a lot of people have said that they really feel like Paris is in her element when she's DJing so maybe being a DJ is Paris Hilton's one true calling in life and it's so great that she dabbled into it when she did because 
This is what she was always meant to be doing. Leo is also the son of children. And this could mean that Paris's main life purpose is to become a mom and raise children and conceive. But since her love life is so messy, Paris has to find another way to raise children. And I feel like her, like Paris has so many dogs and she treats them like her children. She dresses them up. She gives them names. She, she even, she even has a dog mansion where, where her dogs live like human beings in their own mansion with, I guess, their own bedroom and their own bathroom. So she, her dogs are really like Paris's children and I feel like she's fulfilling her North Node by treating them that way. <laughs> so overall Paris has done a great job activating her North Node and this can be explained by the fact that her moon is conjunct that North Node in Leo. So this could mean that Paris has been in touch with her life purpose very, very early on in her life since the moon represents your early life, your childhood. So maybe Paris has had a head start on everyone when it comes to fulfilling her life purpose and, you know, learning the lessons she needed to learn in this lifetime. So thank you so much for listening and I will see you guys next week for another birth chart reading.